Northwestern at Michigan, another 12 p.m. Eastern time kick. And our line here, Michigan minus 23 and a half, total of 51. And, brother, I look at all of these stats and whatnot, and and this looks like it should be. My line on it was 20, Michigan minus 20. So I, I can't figure out for the life of me what – why this line would continue going up, especially when there are so many bets coming in on Northwestern, there is a real possibility that Michigan just absolutely beats the dog piss out of Northwestern this weekend. This could be very similar to the Nebraska game, right, where Nebraska beat Northwestern 56-7. to Nebraska-Michigan built very similarly. So I, I'm going to roll with Michigan minus 23 and a half here. Northwestern feeling better about themselves after a win over Rutgers last week, but Michigan's a different beast. And I, I will take the Wolverines here. Michigan is absolutely a different beast, and I love the Wolverines. Love them. We, I we, think this weather team is really bad. I think so, like, too. I like, I like watching Rutgers. I don't think they're good. I think they're interesting. Okay? They, I've never seen a team that does not have an offensive philosophy. They literally just run 80% of their offense as trick plays. Like, I, like it, it's not just we run a bunch of gadget plays. No, their whole offense is gadget. Okay? I, I find that interesting. I don't think it's good. Northwestern is boring and bad. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's not a lot to like about them right now. Um, now, now and we should have seen this coming, Gary. See, we're too close to this because we love Northwestern and we're friends with those guys. And we're the Westlot guys. And, and we talk to them every day. Like, we're too close to this. Northwestern has never had a first-round pick in the history of that damn school, and they had three last year. Like, what are we talking about? How did we not know that that was going to happen? Yeah. Oh, they got two. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, they had two, but yes, they. I'm I'm with you. I think we we thought a lot higher of this team when they had Cam Porter, when they had a uh, couple of the offensive linemen. I mean, they it it's been it's been strange, but also we probably should have seen. But all we've been told about is how much depth this offensive line has. Well, guess what? They don't have any depth at all. You no. lose one guy and you fall to shit. No, they they really do not. They they, they have nothing and it it pains us to actually say that so you know yeah it sucks it sucks man not a not a fan of of that situation but alas here we are thanks for listening to the winning cures everything podcast the website is winning cures everything.com and if you want to connect with us we're on twitter at gary wce at chris b giannini at winning cures or you can email us gary at winning cures everything.com or chris at winning cures everything.com subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe and we'll see you soon